what is up guys welcome to today's video on number 37 yes we're getting towards the end of the season and we're actually going to be playing five league matches so we're going to be playing the whole of march in today's episode and starting off with fulham and they are playing a four five one formation and we're going to play our normal five three two formation obviously just chucking in a few wow quite heavily rotated side but we are going to still play some of our main uh, main players but Dagstral plays a massive nice ball into Wes Burns can Lucas finish it off yes he does 19 minutes into the match nothing really happened within the fir those first 19 minutes until we launched a ball from Dagstral to Wes Burns on the right hand side and Burns just managed to find his pass but speaking of managing to find your passes Danny Ward doesn't actually manage to find his pass out into the wing back or centre back I can't imagine who he was trying to actually find but he passes it to a Fulham player and you know Danny Ward we are playing in blue we aren't playing in white it is not the season before where we did have a white kit but now we do have a black and red kit we no longer have that white so not entirely sure who or you are actually trying to find but Perez with a really good shot and Danny Ward equal to that shot making it a really nice save now Fulham are on the attack here what can they do Varela is uh, holding off the two Ipswich Town players and plays it back into Casale and plays it back into Varela Varela has a shot hits the post and comes off and Wolfton um, only sort of nudges it back to the keeper. I don't think he meant to pass it back, but hey ho. Now we are playing Manchester United, and look at that team. That is just an absolutely mental team that we're going to be playing. I mean, they've literally put out their, well, I say their first 11. I mean, Kane, Casemiro, I mean, Diaby, Williams. Yeah, you can't really fault their team if I'm honest but uh, we'll have to see how we go we have put out a, uh, a full strength team I'm pretty sure and Christensen what a ball into the bottom right hand corner to get us going 18 minutes in wow I did not expect to go up in front this early on I mean playing Manchester United in previous episodes I've always struggled quite badly against them but you know, this episode in the FA Cup seems to be a good run of fortune as Bowden gets played in, splits the defence with his run and slots it into the bottom right hand corner as well. What a finish from Bowden. He's been the star man from start to finish in this career mode ever since he's arrived from the Youth Academy. He's just been absolutely brilliant. I can't fault him whatsoever. I know we used to shove him in at right wing. Obviously done a good job there, but now we've created him as a striker. I can't really fault him at all. And Manchester United with a not too bad effort, but you know, no skin off our back. And Harry Kane Unfortunately, putting Manchester United ever closer to equalising. Now we are in the 82nd minute of the match and Bowden gets played through by Harris and he makes it Ipswich Town's third. All know sealing our victory through into the FA Cup semi-finals and you know that is the furthest we've ever been with in the FA Cup before we've always been knocked out really early on but a good run of fortune here and obviously I have to see where we get and who we get in the next episode obviously there's still Arsenal there's still Chelsea in this uh, in this FA Cup run so could we get one of those well, we'll have to wait and see into the end uh, where we show you what's next um, matches we're gonna have obviously speaking of Chelsea uh, that is our next game and um, we're going to put Bree and Norrington Davis on the left wing backs, on the wing backs, shall I say. Um, just because every time our wing backs play quite close together, uh, they do need to be rotated out. Which is why we've sort of purchased quite heavily. And I think Bree's actually now higher rated than Edwards, but I'm not entirely sure who I um, like better. But Edwards has the pace, 
over Bree, so maybe he gets there. But then Wes Burns just has the pace over both of them, so you know, swings and roundabouts on that as we miss the goal that we scored him. So we are now actually 1-0 up against Chelsea. Chelsea are very close behind us and Evalison uh, chips the keeper and only chips the goal as well. Not doing much and Ziyech gets tackled by Edmondson who's not really had much of a game time this season. He's always been sort of here or there though, you know, good player. Might look to move him on but I don't really want to move him on because he has been quite a really good player for us and Bolden in the 90th minute fires Ipswich Town through getting that extra three points on Chelsea from now on we'd have to capitulate for Chelsea to actually get back and come over us and you know get that position ahead of us but I don't think they will I think we'll get Champions League over them as a matter of fact of what Tottenham are doing because um, they are Sort of, we're fighting them pretty much as well as um, Liverpool now. Obviously, we'll have to wait and see just to see what the uh, what the actual position is. And now we're actually playing Coventry City in the FA Cup, which I'm quite surprised when I got that draw. I thought, okay, the luck of FIFA gods is actually you know helping us um, progress into the semi-finals. Though I did say earlier, now this is the quarters. Obviously, we've got the semi finals to come after this if we win. But uh, look at that. Coventry scores against Coventry. You can't write it. He's done his job perfectly. He's come on to play against them. And the irony of his name being Coventry and we're playing Coventry in the FA Cup is absolutely brilliant. But uh, look at that. Coventry having a small dig. Um, at Danny Ward, but then Danny Ward just throws it. I'm not entirely sure what he was trying to do there, and I'm not entirely sure what he was trying to do here, making it much more difficult on ourselves to actually try and win this massively. It is now 1 1 as um, McBurney scores for Coventry, and you know, here comes the actual trying to actually try and win the game because now we're in the 88th minute. And so at this point I thought, my god, we're actually going to either go to extra time or penalties to win this. But Bowden gets put through, Skinner alongside him, and he does the uh, good thing of actually securing the goal. Because, you know, I, I didn't want to shoot with Bowden. I know he could have scored, but when you have your other strike partner right alongside you, you will want to pass to him just to get that goal that you know would happen I mean look at this I could have shot it would have gone in anyway but Skinner I say he's just there free space free goal you kind of have to take it in this point as we're only 1-1 and I didn't really want to lose at all so you know we go ahead and we sweaty it so we do progress into the next round of the FA Cup now we're playing West Brom so we are going to keep Danny Ward in the net. He's getting a good run now over Keller. Though he did sort of say, you know, hey boss, I'm not really happy with my playtime. So, you know, we'll end up playing him a little bit more. And we'll obviously see how that goes. As I do rate Danny Ward. He has been a good keeper throughout the championship season. And, you know, he's been quite a good keeper in the Premier League, if I'm honest. So... Not entirely sure why I bought Keller, but Keller's been great nonetheless. And going into the next season, I think Keller getting up to that 80 rated, hopefully by the end of the season, we should be able to have um, a good keeper for the Champions League or Europa League. We'll obviously have to wait and see. There's not really much happened in this West Brom game. It was a really tight affair as a Skilderson plays it into Bowen because West Brom's defence was absolutely miles apart from each other. And we look to secure the three points in the 75th minute. Absolutely great scenes. Now West Brom looking to come back on us in the 83rd minute. 
a bit of skeleton gets it cleared into Brownhill. Brownhill's just going to hold it up a little bit for Giles to run past him. And he, Giles does so. As you're looking at Bowden right in the penalty spot, right in the box. And obviously he's going to secure all three points coming back to Portman Road. Or coming back to Portman Road. We're playing at Portman Road. Um, securing three points for us and the rest of the league so we are you know we're flying high quite nicely as uh that's how it's going to end up now going to end up as the 2-0 victory the 79th and 87th minute we did leave it quite late though but uh in the next episode we are going to have april's games of west ham southampton newcastle wolverhampton and the fa cup tie against Arsenal. Now, look, that is very close. Spurs three points behind Chelsea, two point, well, equal points, but game in hand. So we'll have to see how we go. I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. I will see you in the next one. Take it easy. Bye bye.